guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Abigail Oger, it's your very first time here. And if you're a returning subscriber, you're all welcome. Yay! So, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I made this infinity bubble braids or zipper bubble braids. So, before we go into the video, make sure you click on the subscribe button below. If you haven't done that, just put on the notification icon as well. So, if you need to have any video comes up, give me a big thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment section. Thank you. So, let's open to the video. So yeah, we her. I'm going to be parting my hair for my braid. So this is I just part, I had um about fifteen no sixteen parts fifteen to sixteen parts. So this is the last parting. It is like I did um a harrow head kind of part. Yeah, so. And that's just how I did all my parts and yeah so for this um, infinity bubble braids I just decided to just um, do this X Estelle so what you will need for this Estelle you'll be needing um, your extension you'll be needing extensions you'll be needing rubber bands you'll be needing tissue paper or any paper and tape cello like tape tape any tape so now i'm through with my part so this is the extension i used lush air extension and i cut it into two so now i'm going to be braiding i'm going to be showing you three different method of how i did this style so this first one i'm going to be braiding my hair first then i'm now going to be using do using my braid to form the infinity braid so i'm just wrapping it around my hair so once i'm through in my hair i add from the extension then continue so it's just like um braiding but it's just that it's only one piece of the extension you are going to be wrapping around the other two so you wrap it around it's like that so take one put it under put it above put it under above under to the other side like that i hope <laughs> it's um what i'm saying it's explanation so that's just how i achieved my infinity braids and one thing about the infinity braids is that you have to make sure the um the air that you're wrapping around is smaller than the others if not you won't get what you want it looks like you are braiding your hair so now for the tissue we're going to be using the tissue for the balls in the bubble braid for the bubbles okay so i just rolled the tissue paper and i'm putting it in the extension so i put the extension around the tissue paper so as to cover it then after covering it i used uh, my edge brush to just make sure it is well covered and i don't have the balls or the tissue paper showing but still it wasn't working so i just decided to use my rubber band to hold it in place so now that the rubber band is in place i can adjust the air around the tissue paper or the bubbles or the bubble rather so now i'm adding more um tissue paper to the balls to the extension to her to my bubbles <laughs> so just like i did in the first one i'm going to be doing the same thing put the tissue paper in between the extension then use my rubber band to hold it in place then adjust the air to cover the tg paper very well so and as i continue till i got to the last part in the last section as as i go down i reduce the extension and um, i reduce the tg paper rather i reduce the number of tg paper because the tg paper is something that i can divide so for the first three i used four pieces 
for the second row i used three then first um the first three i used four the next two i used three the next two i used two then the last one i used one i hope it makes sense you can use the same thing for everything down but i just i realized that if i did four for everything my tissue paper would not be enough i didn't and i didn't want to have to get up to go and pick another one at this or to go and buy another one so yeah so now this is the second form so this time around i'm just braiding my hair and using i this time around i didn't braid my hair rather so i just used my hair to make my um zipper braid directly and when my hair was done i added extension it took extension from one side and continued and when the extension on that side was finished i picked from the other side and continued rolling it around the two sides of the extension i know when we say oh this is supposed to be a protective hair style your hair is not supposed to be out and all that you can do it that your hair will not be out that is you just use the extensions to create the infinity bubble braids so your hair will be in the part of the extension and you have only the extension wrapping around both your hair and the extension but this is just the way i wanted it to be i didn't want my hair to show to show so much because i'm using colored extension so I didn't want it to be so long and if I am using my hair in the extension to be showing to be showing and I won't um I won't want to stop it very soon and I want the infinity braids to be finished where my hair ends and that will make the infinity braids to be too long for what i wanted to do so that's it so you can make it as long as you want you can do it that your bubble braids only come in three and you can do it your bubble braids start from the very beginning so now this is the third type of or the third method rather so this time around i'm just going to be sectioning my hair into three then i'm going to be braiding it i'm going to do like i'm braiding it then I'm going to take one of, okay, let me take this again. I'm going to take in one of my hair. Then I'm going to be using it, one part of the hair. You know, I sectioned my hair into three, but the extension is into two. So I'm using one section of the hair where there's no extension on it. I'm wrapping it around both my hair and the extension. And when that first hair is true, I t add from the next air so i'm just using my hair to cover the extension or to form the invisible bubble braids you can see what i mean by if i am using my um the extension to do the bubble braids i will um to do the infinity braids rather i will have too long my the infinity braid will be too long to be longer than what I want it to be and I didn't want that I didn't want it to be too long like this part I didn't like the way the infinity braid was too long just too long for me I still prefer the first and the second one you can see from the other side of my hand that my hair was more than the parts where I used the extensions so and this is the same way that happened although it was one of the best method for me but i didn't like how long my hair was so that's just if you're using um black extension to be or if you're using the same color as your hair she may not need to use your hair to wrap around the extension and so this time around i am my rubber bands were exhausted and it was way 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 in the night and my tissue paper were also exhausted so i just used um, a normal paper 
um a4 paper i cut it into two then i wrapped one half of it and put it inside the extension so and i'm using my extensions to tie the bubbles in place so that's just basically it i hope you understand the air styles and you can try it also it's not compulsory you have it this long or in this color it's cute if you use black but at the point where i wanted to do this air style the extension i have was orange and i didn't want it to go to waste so i just had to use it like that so that's just it and now i'm just going to be trimming all the ends of my hair that we are not looking at are not on the same length and just as simple as that let me know if in the comment section if you will try this kind of a style but maybe not in this color so now i'm just going to be using my mousse around my hair to have a fine finish and a neater look so this is the finish let's go ahead and wrap up this video so guys this is the finish look she's cute <laughs> oh my gosh so cute and nice <laughs> thank you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it if you did make sure you click on the subscribe button below if you still haven't done that yet put on the notification icon as well so you'll be notified when a video comes up Give me a big thumbs up and let me know the comment section. Thank you. So, to my next video. Bye. Kisses. <laughs>